Hey fellow beaters, it's JP and I've got a matching bracelet for you this time. So if you remember my Aztec earrings from last week. So here is the bracelet uh, to go with it. So um, works the same way. It's, it's a little bit of an advanced tutorial because the tension is important. So I, I'd say if you're a beginner, go ahead and give the earrings a shot. And if you're comfortable with earrings, then go ahead and try for the bracelet. The tricky part is this is a continuous bracelet. So I, I made the bracelet as one long one piece. Uh, these are not separate components that I then uh, connected together. Uh, so just uh, that's why it makes it a little bit trickier. And because I'm using this, the two hole super dual beads, it's tricky to do a connected piece with a two hole bead. Um, there's a little trick that I use and um, okay, so let's talk about uh, beads that you'll need. So you'll need 11s, a four millimeter bead, any four millimeter bead. I'm going to repeat any four millimeter bead. These are fire polish. Uh, so you can use fire polish, bicones, rounds, pearls, whatever you got and some super duos. So uh, let's see. So you're going to need... Um, so this bracelet ends up being five inches. And so I ended up making four of the larger components and then five of the smaller uh, component here. So I'm calling this a little connector here, a component. So, uh, so you need one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I can count, I promise. Nine four millimeter beads. Um, total or well for depending on the size so you'll need it you know you'll need probably more because most people don't make bracelets this small my wrist is a little bit small and then for the super duels you're going to need um 12 per component so in this case it's uh 12 times 4 is 48 if you need a you know an extra two components then it's you know 12 times 6 72 so forth um <clears throat> and then for the colors <coughs> Excuse me. So these are the uh, Duracoat Galvanized Dark Mauve. And these are my Yuki purchased from Aura Crystals. My 4 millimeter Fire Polish are from Potomac Beads. And these are Purple Iris is the color. So 4 millimeter check, uh, check rounds. And then the Super Duos. Uh, so these are also from Aura Crystals. And these are opaque. Oops, let's get that in the focus. Opaque white slipper or slipper it. You know, someone tell me how to pronounce that because <laughs> I always get that wrong. Uh, so those are the colors. I've used um, six pound fire line. I'm using the smoke fire line this time. Or I think I used the same one in the previous one. Anyway, well, let's get started. That's all my explanation. I've already been talking for three minutes and it's it's a long tutorial, so let's get started. All right, so to get started, what you're going to do is pick up an 11 followed by two super duels, and then you're just going to repeat that three more times. So it'll be four sets of these. So 11, two super duels, 11, two super duels, 11, two super duels, 11, two super duels. So you should have a total of four of the 11 odd beads and eight of the super duos. And then I am going to tie a knot, so just a square knot, make it nice and secure. So the knot should be between the 11 and the super duo. And to continue, next step is to reinforce the ring. And so just go through the super duos to begin with. You're not adding beads at this point, you're just reinforcing. And then again, I'm gonna go 11, super duo. And again, 11, or sorry, super duo 11, super duo this time. And then once again, super duo 11 and super duo, depending on if I can get it aligned up. There we go. And we are back 
all the way around. So what I want to do is come out of an 11. So I'm actually going to go past this. So I'm going to go through the Super Duo 11, but I'm actually going to go past that 11 because that's where the knot is. So I want to go past it and come out of the next 11 coming up. So first to go through these two Super Duos. And I, you may need to do that one at a time and then the Super Duo and then come out of the 11. So this is what you should have is a nice square looking ring. And then what you're going to do is we're going to add our bead in the center. So pick up the four millimeter. This could be any four millimeter bead. It does not have to be a fire polish like I'm using here. Just whatever you've got. And then you're going to go directly. <clears throat> got a tickle in my throat. Go directly opposite to this 11 here and go through it. <coughs> so note the thread is going, so if I hold it this way, the thread is going left to right. So then on the opposite side, you wanna go right to left on the seed bead here. What we're doing is trying to basically create a loop with all three of these beads, essentially. Pop it in the center, go back through the four millimeter and then back through the 11. So, and again, you're gonna go from left to right in this case. So if you're right-handed, you're just, you're just working it the opposite way. So I'm going through the 11 and then into the Super Duo. Okay, here's what it should look like. And now, since we're coming out of this Super Duo, I'm gonna just switch into the other hole of this same Super Duo where the thread is coming out. All right, so there's two gaps. So this is the bigger gap because there's that 11 between the Super Duos and then these two Super Duos are together. So that's a smaller gap. The bigger gap gets three 11s. Like so. And the smaller gap gets a super duo. And you're just going into the next available super duo then. So once again, I'm gonna repeat. This time I get three of my 11s. And I go into this next super duo here. I'm actually gonna flip this just to turn it this way, a little easier on my wrist. And then I'm gonna pick up a Super Duo now and go into this next Super Duo. So you're alternating between adding the 11s and adding just the Super Duo by itself. All right, so now it's time for three 11s again. And into this next Super Duo. And now I need a super duo and I go into the next super duo. And now one more time, I'm going to pick up three of the 11s and going into an 11. And now the super duo. So go through the super duo and then continue through the three 11s after that come after it. So needle is not quite lining up to the third C beat. That's okay. I'll just go through the two and then go through the third one here. So go through the third C beat here, the 11, and then through the next two super duos. So you want to come out of the one that's sticking out. Okay, now I am just flipping over the piece and then turning, going into the second hole of the super duo here. Just like that. You want to make sure you keep the tension as tight as possible. And for this next one, you're picking up eight 11s. Six, seven, and eight. So just double checking my counts. Yep. And you're going to go into this next super duel. 
just like that. So you should get a second row of seed beads there. And then again, eight. So we're gonna repeat this three more times. So, and then just go into the super, super dough here. And again, picking up eight. Some of these have a slightly clogged hold, so I'm noticing that the um, needle isn't quite getting through. I think it's because it's got the door coat on it, so that's why you see me picking up a bead and then noticing that it's not flowing down the needle. So dropping it and going for one that's just a little easier. And the last time I'm gonna do eight again. Let's see, four. See that one, the needle's not going through it because it's got something blocking it. That's five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm gonna go through the super dual and then you're gonna go through those eight seed beads. And one of them is stuck. See if I can force it. If not, I'm just gonna. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Don't usually have that happen with the Dura coat. It's the first time that's happened. So uh, just double checking, make sure I got eight. Yep. So. Go through the super duo. Okay, now I'm gonna go through all eight of the seed beads. So take your time with this, make sure that you don't skip any accidentally. All right, so one of the things you're gonna notice is it's gonna start to push upward a little bit. So it's gonna start to cup, which is what happened with the earrings. So if you recall on the earrings, they had this nice little, little bit of a cupping look to them. So you're going to do the same thing here. So at this point, now you're kind of basically looking at the back of the piece and then this is going to be the top of the piece this way. But we have quite a few steps to finish this. All right, so I'm coming out of that 11. You're going to pick up three 11s, skip over the super duel, and then just go through the eight 11s. And again, just make sure you don't accidentally skip an 11. It's easy to do when you're trying to do this. And you're gonna tighten and tighten as you go. And again, pick up three 11s. And go through the eight. So skip over the super duo. So just making sure I got all eight. And once again, pick up three. So we're also reinforcing as we're going because we're going back through these beads again. Now skip the super duo and just go through the eights or the eight 11s. <laughs> so got my eight, no skipping. Okay, last time. Pick up three. Actually, let's get that one out of the way. I feel like I keep picking up that one again and again. And that one too. That one's claw. Oops, I lost it. Okay, pick up three. Go through these eight 11 seed beads. And again, make sure you're giving this a good tug. So you get that nice, has that popping up domed look to it. All right, so now go through, so we added these three in the previous, or in this most recent round. So just go through the two of the 11, so the first two. And now you're gonna pick up eight. So 
So I've got my eight. Yes. Pick up eight, bring them down. And you're going to go back through just that central bead. Just like that. And you'll get this loop. Go through the first two 11s. Pick up an 11, go through the next two 11s. And then again, pick up one 11 and go through the next two. And last time, pick up an 11 and go through these last two. So you should get this nice diamond. Now go through the bead in the center here between that 11 where we started. And make sure thread does not get wrapped around like I just, like I did there. So keep an eye on it and I did it again. <laughs> All right, hold it there. So this is what you should have at this point. And what you're gonna do now is pick up your four millimeter. So I've got my four millimeter. I'm gonna go directly across. So note, I am coming out of that seed bead going from right to left. Now I'm gonna go left to right. So this will pop the bead in the center like so. Go back through the four millimeter. So tighten the thread as you're going. So make sure that's sitting nice and snug there inside the little diamond of seed beads. And then go back through the seed bead where the thread originates. Okay, now make your way back up to that bead here at the top. So I'm actually gonna go through the beads here on the side. That way I'm also reinforcing as I'm making my way up. Should be able to get through the three beads on each on those sides. And then once again, go through the next three. Okay, so now I'm going to make the uh, clasp here, or the loop for the clasp. So pick up four 11s, and you can also make the bigger diamond just like I did here. So it's kind of up to you. But I'll go with the slightly smaller one because the jump rings I have will fit perfectly. And so go back through just that bead there at the top. And this time go through just the one 11 in that group of four. And again, you're going to pick up one 11, go into the next 11. Pick up an 11, go into the next 11, and again, pick up an 11, go into the next 11, and right there, okay, and then you should be so I'm coming out of that 11, I'm just gonna go into this 11 here in the center, there. The one that connect, connects the two diamonds together, basically. And then we're gonna just go through it one more time to reinforce it. So just go through the beat. So best to do this two at a time. And I'm almost there, almost through all the beads. I'm coming out of this bead down here. I got to get through this one. And the main one there. Okay, 
So one unit done. Now we got to get to the other side here and we're going to make this unit again. So just go down the beads. I am actually just going to go through this, go through the beads here on the side because I'm still reinforcing this side of it, which I hadn't done yet. And then through the two here on the side, there's two. And then the bead in the center. And then down the side. So I'm going through these, there should be nine that I'm going through. And now the three here. And okay, this, so I got through two of those. This is my third one there. And then these are the eight that are in between. So Okay, so I got through those eight that are on the side. Now there's just these three that sit over the super dual. So you just wanna go through the first two. You don't wanna go through all of them. You wanna come out of the middle bead in that little set of three. Okay, so we have to make this diamond again. So pick up eight. Got my eight, go back around that bead. Go through the first two. Pick up two, go through the next two, or sorry, pick up one and go through the next two. So just one. Pick up another one, go through the next two, and one more time, pick up one, go through the next two. Okay, this time I'm actually gonna just have, uh, we're gonna reinforce, so go back through all the beads. All right, that's taking a little longer than I'd like, but that's okay, take your time. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> We're not supposed to rush through it. There we go. And the last time, this last set and we're back. So going through those two, and then the one in the center. Okay, so this is what your piece should look like. And now pick up that four millimeter. So bring that down and just go directly across to the one that's at the very top Go through it, go through, go back through the four millimeter, and then back through the bead in the center here. So this is our bead that's central. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see that properly. And 
and then I just want to end up back here at that bead so I'm just going to go back through that four millimeter and through this all right so now what we're going to do is make the next component so we're going to make this now so this is the little bit of a tricky part not too bad so this is the technique I use for making something that's got basically rounds with a two hole bead like the super duo uh, you'll see I've used this technique before so if you've watched previous videos uh, definitely I'm sure you've seen me do this um, so what we are going to do is pick up an 11 okay find one that I can actually get my needle through okay there we go a super duo and then another 11 just like so and basically what you're gonna do then is go back through this bead here so the thread note where the thread is coming out go back through that bead and you should have this super duo sitting kind of right next to it to that bead go through the 11 And I'm not going to go back through and reinforce this because we'll be making multiple passes this way. So this will get reinforced as we continue. And then through the super duo. Now switch to the other hole of the super duo. Pick up a super duo, bring it down to the end of the thread. Hold it flush against. So hold both of them together close as you can. So I usually hold them with uh, my index finger, in this case my middle finger, and my thumb. So I'm holding them together, making sure the thread is right. Uh, there's no slack in the thread. It's very, they're flush against each other. So I'm going to hold that down and then switch into the second hole of this super duo now. Now pick up a super duo. Bring that down just like this. You want to make sure it's also flush, then go through the other hole of that super duo. Then you're going to go through the first super duo and then the second one. So and these should sit like that. So. There you go, sort of a V. These are gonna sit in a little V that's in the center. Now, go again back through this second hole of this super duo and then through the other super duo we just added. So you may need to rewind this a couple times to get that, this is gonna be tricky. Okay, so now we gotta finish making, adding these super duos here uh, as part of the, the inside ring and then we go back out so what you're gonna do now is when we started we had picked up an 11 two super duos 11 two super duos. so you're gonna do the same thing again so now it's time to pick up an 11 two super duos followed by another 11 and two super duos and 11 two super duos And to finish off our circle, we need one last 11. So we have eight, counting these two. So those two, then the 11, two 11, two 11, two, and then here's my 11. And now I'm gonna go through those two. And there's our ring. We're gonna reinforce. Go through all the beads again, basically, to re as you're reinforcing. So if your uh, circle gets loose, don't worry, we're gonna tighten this up. So just go, I'm gonna go through this last 11 and then 
to these super duos where we started. And there it is. Okay, so now, again, we're gonna go switch into the other hole of this super duo, go through the next super duo that it's connected to. Go through this next super duo here. Oh, wait, I jumped the gun. Sorry, we're gonna back out. Apologies, apologies. Sorry, sorry. So once you've reinforced this ring, you actually want to come out of the 11. Because we had to add in our, our bead that goes in the center. You can always come back. If you forget to do this, you can always just come back to it. Just go back, to, you know, through the super duels and come back down. So I'm coming out of this 11. So I'm having this all go in the same direction. So I'm making sure that I'm coming out of the same seed bead from where I started. So these will then kind of sit in this diagonal this way. Anyway, come out of that 11. So again, if you're kind of looking at it this way, it's going from right to left, my thread. I'm going to go left to right. You're just going into the 11 that's directly opposite. And I just want to try to get through that 11 by itself. And then this gets popped into the center. Yep, the thread will wrap around the super duos. Don't worry. But you can see that's there now in that center. Go back through the bead, the four millimeter. Make sure there's no slack in the thread, so just give it a good tug. And then go back through the 11, the same direction that you originally were going, and then through this next super duo next to it. Just like so. So you can see now we've got the inner ring component done there, so. And you'll see what else we have to add now. So we're gonna, we'll have to make the next two rounds on this. So switch to the other hole of the super duo. So I'm coming out of that super duo. So I'm gonna switch in this direction. Now no, again, so as I said from when we made this unit, see this is where there's an um, 11 between these two super duos. So it's a bigger gap. And so you're gonna put three 11s. And then go into the super duo. So I went through the next two super duos. And now we've already got our super duo between the smaller gaps. So now I'll just go through this third super duo here. And again, you're going to put three 11s there. And go into the next super duo here. There we go. Pick up a super duo. Go into the next super duo. Now we're back at the bigger gap, so I'm going to do three 11s. The next super duo. And actually, it's time for a super duo now, smaller gap. So put your super duo in here. Oops, sorry. Bump the camera there. And then Three 11s. Oh, and my last super duo goes here in this round. Let's 
So I went through the next two 11s there, continue through to the 11 and this, the next two super duels. So this 11 here, or sorry, super duo, not 11. And then switch to the bigger hole of the super duo. Okay, so now we're making this outer set, uh, set of, we're just adding seed beads basically to that outer ring. So, and I'm actually gonna get more of these cause these all feel like they're clogged. <laughs> so I'm gonna move those aside and grab a whole nother pile. Okay, so each side had eight, if you remember. So count out eight. Making sure they're all gonna go through the needle and then go into the next super duel. So coming out of that one, going into this one. That's five, six, seven, and eight. Double check. Yes, that's eight. And again, going into the super duel. One more time, or two more times actually. Pick up eight. That's five, six, seven, and eight. Next super duo. And once again, picking up four, five, six. Oh, that one's getting stuck. So number six did not work. So six, seven, and eight. And then just go through the super duo for now. Make sure, ignore the seed beads on, on either side of it. There we go. And again, give this a good tug so it starts to, to create that cupping effect. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our seed beads over the super duo. So go through the eight 11s. And this should help tighten things as you go. Pick up three and go into the next eight. You're skipping over the super duo, just like before. And then repeat, so pick up three again. Skip the super duo and just go through the eights, eight, uh, or just go through the eight 11s. The... And one more time, pick up three. and go through those eight seed beads. All right, so for this guy here, this, those three seed beads are there. We just added them when we first added that super duo. So you can see these, I'm coming out of this one here. I'm gonna go up into this one here. and make sure it didn't get wrapped around. Okay, then the one in the center. This is why I didn't want to reinforce that first time through because we were gonna go back through this. Then this one here on the side And that should be basically our component is done. Now you're repeating steps. So now we gotta make this diamond again. So I've shown you how to make that twice. You wanna come out of this seed bead here in the center and make this diamond. And then you'll make this component here exactly the way I did it on this step. So the first component is always a little different because we're starting, but the second component, that's how you wanna make the rest of these. So 
this particular length is about two and a half inches and that should give you an idea of how much more you'll need to do. And so I'm just gonna go through these eight. I'm basically making my way to the other side. So if you beat it nice and tight, then you should have trouble getting through <laughs> the beads. Uh, they should be nice and flush against each other. There we go. And just be careful you're not skipping beads. I'm repeating myself again, but it does happen. And then now you should be in position. So to make that little component here, the smaller piece, you're just gonna pick up eight seed beads and then pop it in the center. So this is why I consider this a little bit more advanced of a tutorial to do because it's a little complicated to do. There's quite a few steps to this. Anyway, keep going and um, yeah, just keep going and I'll show you, the, uh, show you the finished bracelet after. Okay, so here is my completed component. So I ended up doing essentially a whole nother set of two more components with three of the, the smaller component. Uh, so a total of uh, four or five, one, two, three, four, five of the smaller component. And of course my typical clasp loop of the diamond. So this bracelet with this uh, ended up being five inches. And so making a whole nother component set would have been too long for me. So what I ended up doing was adding a few extra jump rings to get that six inch bracelet. So with the clasp and the extra jump rings, I'm able to get the exact length that I need. So just something to bear in mind if you, as you're making it and you realize that maybe it'll be um, you know, you can always use a clasp that's a little bit bigger or add extra jump rings and a little bit of an extender like I did there to help with the length. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, I shall see you in the next one.